Hello from the Forcetronics YouTube channel and welcome to Reducing Arduino's Power Consumption Part 2. In Part 1 we looked at how to use sleep modes for reducing power consumption. In Part 2 we're going to look at using the Power Reduction Register or PRR to reduce power consumption. And who should be watching this series? Anybody working on a design that's going to run off a battery and battery life is critical. Let's get started. Okay, what is the PRR? or the power reduction register. The power reduction register allows you to turn off a clock or turn off the clock to peripherals on the Arduino chip. Basically it allows you to turn off functions that you're not using, but the Arduino main clock as well as the CPU still run, so you can still use the Arduino unlike sleep mode. As I just mentioned, the PRR can be used to reduce power during, during normal activity. So just turning off a piece of the Arduino that you're not using or you can use it in idle sleep mode. So in idle sleep mode, there's still a lot of functions that are left on. If you want to turn off a couple of those and even and further increase the power efficiency or the power savings, you can use it in idle mode. Okay, in code, in the Arduino code, there's two ways we can access or use the power reduction register. We can directly manipulate the register or change bits in the register, write ones or zeros to the register, or just like in sleep mode, there's a nice library. So I'm going to use the library in my example, but there's also some parts of the example where I do have to manipulate some registers and we'll see that in the code. So what does the PRR turn off? What, what clocks does it turn off to what peripherals? Well, the first one is the analog to digital converter. So if you're not using the ADC or you're not using it for a long time, you can turn that off. There's also the SPI interface, the serial peripheral interface for communication. If your project doesn't have that type of communication, turn it off. There's the two wire serial interface communication you can turn off. You can turn off the serial communication module. You can turn off all three timer counters. Now the Arduino uh, libraries or the, the Arduino code interface really masks a lot of the functionality of the, the timer counters. So just be aware that it, they may be used for things you might not be aware of. For instance, the timing function, the milli function, uses the counter zero, and some of the pulse width modulation capabilities use the timer counter. So you can turn these off to save power. Just be aware of the functionality that's tied to those before you do that. Be careful when using these because when you turn them off and then you turn them back on, there is a delay or a certain amount of clock cycles that some of them take to sort of ramp up. So make sure you have the right delay before you turn it on and immediately use the peripheral uh, again in your code. Okay, let's look at some of the power savings here. And I'm going to use an Arduino Pro Mini. And if you watched part one, you'll know why the Pro Mini is a good example because you can bypass the regulator. And on the Arduino Uno, you can't really bypass the regulator, so you don't see a lot of the power savings. So here I just turned on the Pro Mini, and I did some simple calculations. So this is a fairly small power draw, but this is meant to be our normal baseline average consumption. So 12 milliwatts. And, and once again, this will vary depending on what you're doing on your Arduino. If we turn off the ADC using the PRR library, we gain almost a milliwatt and a half. So we, we cut down our power consumption. You can see what it is now and, and on the bottom what it was in normal mode. Then if we turn the SPI interface off, now once again the ADC is on again and if we just turn the SPI interface off, we get about a milliwatt of power savings. So as you can see, this is nowhere close to as much savings as we would have in sleep mode, but the benefit is we can still use the Arduino. And if it's a functionality we don't need, then who cares? And then here's an example of turning all of the all of the peripherals off. So if I turn them all off, I'm going to gain a, a couple milliwatts of, of power savings. Okay, let's take a look at the code so you can see some examples on how to use the power reduction register. Here I call in the library, and then in this notes section, I show a lot of the functions to disable as well as enable the different peripherals on the chip. Here I show two registers I'm going to need to manipulate, and I'll talk about those in a second in the code. And here we are at the code. If we look at the setup code, and once again, this is meant to be an example, but I just do a delay 
So everything's running in normal power mode. And then I'm going to basically disable the ADC register. And I do that by just setting the whole register to zero. And this has nothing to do with the PRR. But here is where my PRR, or power reduction register, function call is. So let me do some explaining here. There's two pieces of the PRR, the ADC and the SPI module, where you can get further power savings by shutting off the module's register. The other functionality pieces, they don't have a register to shut off. Once again, by doing one of these, I'll get power savings, but by doing both, I'll get the maximum savings. So here I shut off the ADC register. I then call the function to disable the PRR or the ADC in the PRR. I then delay again, and then I do the same thing for the SPI communication interface. So I'm just showing an example with the ADC and SPI. I shut off the SPI register, and then I call the function to disable the PRR SPI register bit. Then I do a delay again, and then I shut off all of the PRR modules. So this, this function call will shut them all off. So I didn't show all of them being used, but you can get the functions right up here. And I'll have this code posted on my blog. Okay, that's it for part two of reducing Arduino's power consumption, where we looked at the power reduction register. You can get the code at my blog. You can see the link here for accessing the data sheet if you want to dig into more information on the PRR. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And I'll see you back for part three, where we're going to talk about using the watchdog timer to wake the Arduino from sleep mode. And we'll also look at some other power saving capabilities. Thank you for watching.